Hey, what's up turtles? Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors. And I'm really excited to share with you a new product I've been testing out probably the two, three weeks. And it is the Lem Shoes Minimalist Boulder Boot, which retail for $115. Let me get this bag off and show you some of the details of the boot now. So I think there's at least probably four or five different colorways of the boot. And this is the Timber, which features dark brown leather and this almost OD green is 1200D uh, nylon. And if you're not into leather or animal products, they have an all black version that does not have any leather on it. Tan laces and uh, this is just a super comfortable minimalist boot. And I wanna get into more detail and pop one of these off and uh, get it in my hands. So yes, I am standing with one sock on the ground, but here is the boot. I've been wearing minimalist type shoes for probably the past three years now and I'm going to be bluntly honest, most of them look horrible. The companies that are designing minimalist type shoes do not fit in my design or aesthetic preferences at all. But these boots just, I believe, are a win in pretty much every single category that I'm going to talk about. All right, so let's start looking at some of the features that make this a minimalist style boot. And one of them is the last, the Lem's last, the shape of the foot. Look how wide this toe box is with the intention that when your feet are in here, your toes can spread out and you get range of motion and you don't have all this cramped toe action going on in most shoes, that's pretty much what happens. Looking at the second feature that makes these a minimalist style shoe is there's a zero drop from the heel to the toe, meaning it's flat, it's level. There's no heel that's gonna kick your foot up like this. It's flat, zero drop. And there's about a centimeter plus or minus a couple mil in between your foot and the ground, which again makes it sort of a minimalist style boot, but compared to uh, some new balances I had, there's a lot more cushion and or protection with these limbs. Now that might be good for you if you wanna get into minimalist style shoes because you have to build up the muscles in your feet. So I think this might be actually a, a good introduction to that because there's just a little bit more, a little bit more padding. But I wore these on a five mile hike in a gorge trail which was up and down the whole entire time. Feet weren't tired, no sore spots, no blisters, no hot spots. Right out of the box, you can wear these because they're really light and flexible, and that's a segue into the next feature I wanna show. This is a size 44, which is, which is about 10, 10 and a half range, and that's usually what I wear, and they fit pretty darn good. This size 44 weighs almost 11 ounces. The weight of this is one of the first things you're gonna notice when you put this boot on is how light it is. And you're gonna see what that really translates to because, look at that. You can't do that with just a normal boot, flexing the sole like that. You know, you could like pack this up and throw them in your bag if you really were trying to squish them. Really, really like that feature. All right, moving on. It's a cotton lining. I've only been wearing these for two weeks, two or three weeks, I think, and I've been wearing them a lot, you know, out in the woods hiking and stuff. I'm not sure exactly in these hot, humid Pennsylvania summers, wearing these as a hiking shoe or boot, how this cotton lining is going to fare for breathability. But because they're so lightweight, you know, it really, to me, really isn't that much of an issue. Well, there is water repellency with, uh, with the nylon and the leather as well. Not a waterproof boot for sure. One thing I did with the leather um, accents on this boot is I put at least, I think I put three or four applications of Obanoff's heavy duty LP. And you know, these boots pretty much look brand new. And I can tell you these things were hogged up. Walking on muddy, you know, waterfall trails, just walking in the forest in general and the spring's really wet. And the nice thing about the Obanoffs is that you can just wipe it right off and the leather looks brand new. So if you are going to get these, I would definitely recommend getting some sort of snow seal or Obanoffs like I used. I want to talk about the treads for a second as well, or maybe multiple seconds, but they don't have the best grip. If you're on slick ground, you're on ice, if you're wearing these in the winter or wet log, wet rocks, you're really not going to get a lot of traction. And you can see this sole and the treads on this is not really aggressive, an aggressive outdoor tread. Because to me, this boulder boot is sort of has the updated materials but design of a moccasin. So I wouldn't expect a lot of grip because if I wanted to change this boot, put more aggressive tread with lugs or something along those lines, you're going to change what this boot is. So I wouldn't make any changes to this. It would be an additional design or style of a minimalist style boot, which I'm looking for, which is like a sort of upgraded moccasin with more aggressive treads. And 
a full lightweight leather upper. There is an insole in these boots and it's removable. And just as a little caveat, Stoney had a pair of these for the past year he, uh, he bought a pair and I think was at the heel, right? Where he pretty much wore through the heel. And I think it just depends how you're wearing these through the city, if you're walking on concrete in the forest, how each individual pair is gonna wear. But he said he's not wearing the insoles in them anymore and they're just as comfortable. So just something worth mentioning. And on Lem's website, you can buy uh, replacement insoles. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Just wanna give you my closing thoughts. You probably noticed that my boots aren't tied and I really don't tie any of my shoes ever unless I'm gonna be hiking more than maybe a couple miles, but they're still comfortable without tying it. I wanna talk on the topic of it being a lightweight boot and literally not weighing a lot because of thinner materials. Now it's really nice for weight. When you put them on, they don't even feel like they're there. But on the opposite side of that, they potentially could wear faster than a boot that's twice as thick. You know, a heavy duty boot that's gonna take longer to break in, but it might last longer. Just something to keep in mind with anything that's sort of lightweight and its durability. I'd like to thank Lems for sending these boots over so I can test them out and share my experiences with you. I'm gonna be doing a video, I don't know when, maybe at the end of the summer, maybe into the winter, as I continue to wear these and they wear, keep uh, checking in on them and you know let you know how they're faring all that so if you have any questions about these boots let me know if you have any experience with them or other minimalist or barefoot type companies that have outdoor shoes let me know leave a comment i'm constantly searching for new minimalist type shoes every single thumbs up helps us on every single video we upload so if you want to support us it's as simple as that till the next video it's crick with black owl peace out turtles